Hello everybody, this is Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers on board this little ship and we're going to take a tour of the interior together. Now as you can see I've started on the aft deck, that's just because it's a beautiful sunny day and it's a very nice place to be. But let's go inside and take a look. Now this boat is a somewhat of a project so you have the chance to either take her now and uh, finish the project off or perhaps agree some work to be done before you take her or you could just wait until she's completed but that may be up to you. But uh, yeah that's just to explain you will see remnants of projects etc or project work tools half done jobs etc but um, that's what this boat is she's a living breathing thing and she's slowly coming together so up this step we go and we find our way through the double doors into the saloon now what a space this is now all the blinds are down but it's still nice and light in here but you can see what a place this would be the view from the windows there we go lovely great big windows we're looking down at the water we're looking down at everybody else it's a really lovely space lots and lots of room great head height and uh, a really nice place to relax now as you can see we've got a sort of a, a three-piece suite in here we've got the the, the wood panelling etc feels very nice and and uh, I think this would be somewhere very nice to relax and recline. We have got fitted furniture here, so you can see we've got a, a sideboard unit with a cupboard in there. There's a wood burner there, but that's not installed, as you can see. Um, and uh, if you just turn around to the port side, you can see in the port forward corner, we've got a nice uh, uh, unit there, drinks cabinet, uh, drawers, cupboards, etc., all fitted in and all looking rather nice. Plenty of room in here for lots and lots of people to really enjoy themselves. And of course, you've got that really lovely access out onto the aft deck there. So uh, really nice and easy to get around. We like. So I'll just turn this around slowly and we'll move forwards and we'll look inside the galley first or really this is more like a kitchen at home there's not really anything that uh, you're missing on the left hand side here obviously you've got the cooker we've got uh, an extractor fan above as well it's nice to see that bits of stainless steel protection there too now uh, going around the kitchen or the galley you can see we've got the sink there with the cupboard underneath we've got a, dr a drawing uh, area and uh, plenty of work surface and if you look up we can see we've got cupboards and if you look down we can see we've got drawers and more cupboards and uh, assuming this is a fridge here or oh, yes that's a fridge so uh, really nice space we've got uh, we've got uh, looks like vinyl flooring I think or it might be uh, engineered wood I can't tell I'd have to get down closer to look but a nice area we've got a big window as well so lots of air in and out etc nice place to generate that food no worries at all now, just uh, stepping back and looking to the starboard side here, you can see we've got uh, another access, a side access from the side deck, so that's good as well. And then looking down there, we can see we've got the uh, the stairs or the companionway leading down below where we'll go very shortly. But let's carry on along here, shall we? We've got uh, a nice thoroughfare through here. We've got lovely uh, bookshelves, cubby holes, etc., for all your bits and pieces. Another nice window. I should have opened all the blinds for this boat before I started, but uh, uh, it is a beautiful sunny day. And you can see just how light and bright it is in here. So we're on the bridge. On the right-hand side here, we've got uh, uh, the starboard bridge access. More storage on the right-hand side there. There's a wheel on the starboard side. We've got instrumentation here. We've got uh, tank contents. We've got uh, port and starboard engine instrumentation. We've got uh, water coolant temperature we've got uh, oil pressure etc etc all the bits and pieces you need to monitor those all important engines we've got the compass we've got throttles to the left hand side here we've got engine start stop electric switches we've got gps we've got uh, looks like an old um, echo sounder and autopilot there all within easy reach which is great and uh, to the left of that we've got a nice really nice big chart table area with uh, a lift up lid there and a lot of people won't be using that these days but it is there it is classic does look great and we've got proper chart table drawers underneath which i really really like to see to the left of that we've got the uh, the radar and on on its uh, plinth there we've got shelving on the port side here another access so that's the port bridge access we've got a nice cupboard there for uh, all your wet clothing etc before you actually tread it all in and uh, just at the aft end of this uh, compartment, we've got uh, a nice bench seat there and a table. So while somebody's steering, we can keep that person accompanied and uh, be having a nice drink and something to eat whilst we're all talking. So very, very sociable bridge area and very nice and light and bright. 
and I have to say the windows are huge so you've got a great view not only of the sea and where you're going but of other vessels remember that rule five of Colrex um, oh yeah I shouldn't miss on the on the after book in here we've got some nice classical bits and pieces uh, so uh, nice to see that still there which is lovely but let's take a look down below shall we so we've uh, done the top half Let's go downstairs and look at the bottom half and see what we see. So as we go down here, really nice and easy, no problem at all, round the corner. And we'll start at the front and work our way towards the back. So I meant the uh, fore and aft. And uh, here we are in the forward cabin. Now, as you can see, it uh, feels like a boat in here. It's great. We've, uh, we've got the, the flare of the hull kind of starting or the uh, where the hull narrows down towards the stem. Um, we've got a, it looks like a nice new uh, bed backrest there um or bedhead sorry and uh yeah it looks really really nice it's all white down here feels quite contemporary bit of finishing off to be done i think because we've got cupboards we've got a nice great big cupboard here with shelves in and if i just turn around to the port side we've got the same again so we're probably looking for doors there or maybe somebody's thought about putting curtains over there i'm not sure but uh this this cabin when it's all finished off should be absolutely lovely we've got cubby holes on the outboard side we've got windows that open and we've got shelves etc etc lovely massive great big bed and uh, should suit somebody very, very nicely. The boat's uh, carpeted throughout in this kind of, um, I think it's grey. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's all nice. And uh, let's uh, come out of the bedroom or forward cabin. We'll open this door here where you can see um, it's being used as a store, essentially, isn't it? But basically, it, uh, it's a heads compartment that's been uh, dismantled. I don't know if I can get any further in this, I can. So most stuff has gone. I think there was probably a shower there at some point. Um, but this is ready to be refitted, although the head is still actually sitting there. But uh, a compartment ready to go. Uh, useful to see. You can see uh, lots of bits and pieces there. Looks like we have the Morse controls from the throttles, so we can see where they run. Great to have access to those for a bit of maintenance, etc before they're finally uh, panelled behind as well. But uh, yeah, all looking good. And we've got a hatch up there as well for the ventilation. That would be onto the, uh, the forward coach roof. So let's close the door to that head and we'll open the door. Well, it is already open. We'll look in this head here. So this is a, this is a going concern. As you can see, we've got a, another hatch up there. Um, it's all kind of white with a marble defect on the worktop. We've got a big cupboard behind, some cubby holes behind the sink as well. We've got the sink unit storage underneath and a head here also so that's your other forward head or the main uh day head i guess yes i do believe it is anyway let's uh, move back along the corridor very nice to be walking around the inside of such a large boat and we come to uh, another cabin so uh, this is uh, a double although they're well they're it's a twin cabin we've got the upper and the lower berth there we've got uh, i think we've got stories below if you can see uh, no carpet in here and we've got the built-in woodwork here i really like this cabin if this is all emptied out and uh, the mattress is sorted and uh, you know a little bit of finishing off i think it'll be a really really classic feeling area love the woodwork there absolutely lovely and uh, we also have a little sink nestling in the corner there too a couple of shelves so uh, yeah very 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 vintage feeling love it so let's come out of here and move across straight across to the port side again we've got another cabin another little dinky little sink there so uh, all good for somebody and uh, again we've got the built-in beds here uh, trying to work out what we've got so we've got i think this may be a twin also but the upper bed i think has been uh, just collapsed uh, but the, the lower bed is still there we've got some more built-in furniture here um once it's exposed should look lovely nice big cupboard with some drawers underneath all good and the head height everywhere throughout down here is well over six feet so any tall people should be pretty happy down here and i suppose the, the ps de resistance down here would be the aft cabin so we've got uh, full thwart chips length or beam so really lovely and wide very nice and tall and uh, plenty of room in here We've got a, a large double bed with uh, uh, bedside shelves and drawers both sides and a cupboard both sides as well. Lovely great big cupboards or, or wardrobes. On the starboard side, if we just carry along the fo going forward, we've got a nice big uh, shelf unit. We've got a fiddle shelf behind as well. Lots of drawers and a cupboard underneath. Very nice. And again, exuding that kind of classical feeling, which is great. If I just turn around and look at the port side, not quite a mirror because we've got the uh, the bedside shelf, we've got the, the bedside wardrobe, but we also have a uh, what I guess we, we would call a bureau or a writing desk. So uh, room there to study or write, etc., etc. And then we have a nice 
uh, seating area there so we can relax and recuperate, etc., or sit down while we're getting dressed. Very nice indeed. So let's uh, go into the starboard forward corner. This is where we are. So this is the internal bathroom. As you can see, we've got a, quite a, an unusual shower affair here. So this is a, a kind of a mini bath stroke shower basin, I guess, but um, useful nevertheless and plenty of room. Though the, the room above it is uh, compromised. So uh, probably about five feet there, I guess, if you're actually standing in the tray. So it's more of a sit down affair, I think. And uh, just moving around to the outboard side, you can see we've got a sink, shelving, nice uh, opening window there and cupboards underneath too. All needs a bit of a clean, like a lot of this boat does, but uh, a lot of it is surface stuff. So let's withdraw from there and we'll just uh, go through this uh, door. Feels like I'm opening the wardrobe to Narnia a little bit, <laughs> but I do know what's behind here. We do have the, in, the uh, ensuite head. So there we go, uh, on the opposite side of the shower, uh, on the opposite side of the boat where the shower is located. Nice little compartment. We've got a, a head there, great headroom above it. And on the outboard side there, as you can see, we have got a sink with storage underneath and a couple of little shelves behind. And uh, it also looks like, uh, yes, we've got a shower here as well. So I guess the other compartment would be more used uh, for bath reasons. But uh, if you want to shower, you would be in here and the water, the water would all disappear down the drain there. So very good. So this has been Tim. I'll just uh, finish off upstairs. Uh, been Tim from Boat Shed Drop Brokers taking you for a, a quick tour around the interior of this boat. She is an ongoing project. If you're interested in her, just get in touch. Or if you'd like any more information, just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos, and virtual reality. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.